In the kitchen now with Karen Doster from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Great to see you, Karen. Good to see you too, Amy. We're doing some fun, easy, cheesy <laughs> snack recipes that you can whip together in minutes. So whether you're having people over to watch the big game or maybe uh, a movie night, these are fun and quick, and I think everybody is going to love them. The first one is a little... Um, it's elegant but fun. So um, we're doing, are these uh, Brie Bites? These are called Brie Bites, actually from our new online catalog, Great Pair Share. And some of these, uh, this recipe is actually contributed by a food blogger uh, that's very popular on the web. So uh, these are really fun, great for an appetizer and especially if you love Brie cheese. I do. So uh, what we're going to start with actually is uh, one of those puff pastry sheets. Okay. You can get those in the frozen section of your grocery store and you do want this to be defrosted but as cold as possible. So put it in your refrigerator overnight before you use it. So. And they come in a, show, let's grab yeah. that box. Mm -hmm. They come in a box like this in the freezer section, and there are two sheets per box. Right. So mm -hmm. you can pull one of the sheets out right. if you, you know. You can make a double batch or make a double batch, like. yeah. yeah. So you want to open that up. And this dough is a little bit, uh, you know, a little putsy, but it, it's, it's fantastic, and it's a great shortcut to making elegant hors d'oeuvres. Okay. That's right. Okay. Now you'll see that there's a perforation mm -hmm. already there, so you want to cut those into three strips. We're actually making uh, some little rectangles, okay? okay? And just keep that there. Um, okay. We're the going then, each of these strips, we're going to cut into four pieces. Okay. Uniform pieces. Okay. So, so okay. This, this actually, this one sheet will make 12 bites. Okay. Okay. Of this appetizer. There you go. And then you're going to cut them in half again. Okay. Okay. See how that works. Now, in the meantime, while you're doing that, I'm going to make an egg wash here. Okay. I'm going to take one egg, and you can cut some little slivers of that uh, Wisconsin brie cheese there. Okay. So I have one egg here. And I think people are nervous uh, about brie. I think the word just scares people. Brie is just a French, soft, creamy cheese. It's oh, not yes. like a real strong cheese. You don't have to think. You don't think blue cheese or uh, what's that real stinky cheese that people are... Limburger. Heard? Yeah, it's nothing <laughs> like that. It's no. very kid-friendly. I've never met anybody... I've met a lot of people that are scared of it mm -hmm. or say, what is it? But then when they try it, they're like, oh, this is great. It's yeah. a little melty, mild cheese. It okay. is, and we make it right here in Wisconsin as well. So this one you can actually you know, keep the rind on as well. Okay. And what you want to do is take, uh, before we put the brie cheese on actually, okay. we're going to take some of our egg wash okay. Okay, on one of the, the bottoms here. And this is this dough is kind of nice because it does stretch a little bit too, so you can make it work to what you want. And that was just egg and, and egg and a couple uh, tablespoons of milk. Okay. Okay. Now this goes okay. in there. Then you want to put that right, yeah, right about there. Okay. And just bundle it up. Well, no, we're not. Oh. We're not done yet. Okay. We also have some cherry jam. Ooh, yeah. We're going to put on there. Or raspberry yeah. or strawberry yeah, or something some like that. Apricot. And then take the other top. Okay. All right, and put that on. And, and pinch the edges. Pinch it. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we have a fork here. We do. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can do this. You want to put this on like this. You want to uh, kind of crimp the edges there to keep it all together. Okay. And then we're going to put this on uh, some parchment paper to bake. Okay. Okay. So that makes it kind of a, a, a bite, bite size appetizer. Now we're, appetizer. we're also okay. going to do it a fun way with a little stick. Okay, let's see how this works too. And everything's better on a stick. That's very much on trend these days. So. Uh, again, well, first, we, again, we want to make sure that we put our glue on, which is this egg wash. Okay. So always do that on your bottom one. Okay. okay. A piece of brie. Uh, we'll take the stick first to so stick So these that are on. just plain wooden sticks. Mm -hmm. Popsicle sticks you get in the grocery how store. How fun. Brie put goes the brie on, on top, there. A little bit of the jam. Right. Or, you know, preserves, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Fig jam is, would be nice. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to think of different things. Different ones make, that go with, with brie, brie would yeah. be great. And then the top goes on. Again, Push it around there so that it seals, and then you'll want to crimp that as well. Now, oven temperature for baking these is uh, what, Karen? This one would be about 375 degrees. And it will take maybe about uh, 12 to 14 minutes. You want to watch to make sure that it's uh, you know, puffed up but slightly brown. Okay? So it's up to you whether you want to do them as on a stick or just as the little bites. A little bit more egg wash on it. I'm going to show you one other step, too. Oh, yeah. I'll put yeah. a little bit of uh, sea salt on top of there. So. So it's got the salty and the sweet right. and all that yeah. kind of going on. All right. Okay. These are really fun and they're elegant and look, it took seconds for us That's to right. do that. That's right. It's mean, very it's like easy to make. And, but they look like you've spent a lot of time with them. Oh my gosh. And if you love brie cheese. And I do. <laughs> These are yeah. so cute. Yeah. Real, real cute. And show you can, the pops. Yeah. You can actually put those on there, make it look real pretty. Garnish Wouldn't that be nice at a, a nice uh, dinner party or 
anyone coming over. So very fun. I love that puff pastry. I it works really too. well. So I great with cheese. Okay, here's another fun, quick one. Yes. I mean, super quick. Popcorn. Everyone loves popcorn. Great for snacking on for any kind of party, anytime. This is a little. This is cheesy popcorn, actually, with Parmesan cheese. So mm. I popped up about eight cups of popcorn. Okay. We're gonna take some melted butter, and kind of. Uh, Pour that over there. It's about three tablespoons. Now, did you use the microwave? Does it matter whether you use microwave popcorn or, or the regular? Uh, you could use either one. I actually use the, the microwave. But the it's unbuttered. Easier. Unbuttered, okay, yes. Because you you're going to add yeah. your own flavor to this. Yeah. And they okay. have that, it's that natural unbuttered popcorn. Or you can just get the kernels and do it yourself. Okay. Then we're going to add uh, some Parmesan cheese there. Okay. Okay, and we have this is the Wisconsin Parmesan cheese that's grated. Mm -hmm. So we have the uh, love Parmesan quarter and cup of that, mm. and then we're going to add a little salt and a, a kind of a unique kind of flavor, oregano, a teaspoon mm. of oregano, so which is going to kind of zesty yeah. and spicy and nice with the Parmesan. Yeah, kind of and put the whole thing in, all the whole teaspoon in there. Yeah. There you go. So it just gives it a little different flavor. Of course, the butter is going to allow it to stick to um, the popcorn. Is it best to do it when the popcorn's warm? Probably, okay. you know, but either way, I've done it. This is a little bit more room temperature popcorn, and it still seems to stick pretty well. So we'll pour that That's in there. fun. Yeah. So it Take gives you a little bit different. Movie or game night popcorn to a whole a different level. Great snack for after school for the kids, too. That's, That's a right. fun one. Yeah. I think my kids would love it. I like Parmesan cheese. They like oregano on the pizza. So love both these recipes. Oh, thank you. Very, very fun. You can get them on our website, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and recipes, and they'll be right there. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.